It's Raining Easter Eggs by Jade Maître. Henny Penny was peck, peck, pecking around Farmer Josie's garden when there was a rustle, a bump and a squawk. Henny Penny jumped a mile. Something hard and lumpy clocked her on the head. Henny Penny got such a fright that she ran around the yard like a poultry possessed. She ran circles around the old squeaky gate, flapped and fluttered down to the old dam and splash, jumped right in. Very slowly, she lifted her bedraggled feathered head above the level of the water and looked around with frightened eyes. What was that? she asked herself, somewhat a flap. Something hard and bumpy just clocked me on the head. But there in the dam, all danger seemed to be gone. She looked at the sunny sun and the new daffodils peeking through the grass. A buzzy dragonfly swooped and hovered above the water's edge. She swam out of the dam and stood dripping on the grass. It was nearly Easter, and when it is nearly Easter, there is only one thing that is hard and bumpy worth talking about. I do believe, said Henny Penny slowly, that what must have hit me on the head was an Easter egg. And if it came from the sky, that can only mean that the Easter Bunny can fly. What a wonderful thing! Henny Penny was beside herself with excitement to tell the others. She tripped and skittered all the way back up to the farmhouse to the stinky shed, where Ziggy Piggy slopped in the soft, hot mud, feeling the sunshine on his belly. Ziggy Piggy! Ziggy Piggy! said Henny Penny, breathlessly a flap. Did you know that the Easter Bunny can fly? He just dropped an egg on me and it hit me on the head. The Easter Bunny can fly, said Ziggy Piggy, laughing. With what wings? Well, an Easter Bunny hasn't got wings, of course, flustered Henny Penny. So perhaps he was in a hot air balloon. People can fly in hot air balloons, you know. Why not the Easter Bunny? Ziggy Piggy thought this was very funny. He decided to lift himself up from the mud. Oof! and go and tell Tony Pony about the surprising news. He wandered over to the grassy field where Tony Pony was munching and twitching away flies. Tony Pony, Tony Pony, said Ziggy Piggy. Do you know that the Easter Bunny just flew over the farm in a hot air balloon? Wouldn't the hot air have melted his chocolate eggs? asked Tony Pony. That was true. Ziggy Piggy paused to think about it. Then he said, Perhaps he had a fridge in his hot air balloon to keep the chocolate eggs nice and cool. Tony Pony thought this was so funny that he curled his big lips back and laughed. His teeth were large as dirty piano keys. That is quite the story, said Tony Pony. I'd better tell Mucky Ducky. Mucky Ducky was wiggling and waddling all about the yard, searching for juicy worms and bread bits, when Tony Pony galloped up, hooves throwing clover high into the springtime air. Mucky Ducky, Mucky Ducky, said Tony Pony. Did you know that the Easter Bunny just floated past in a hot air balloon with a fridge in it to deliver Easter eggs to the farm? Mucky Ducky looked very surprised to hear that. But how could the Easter Bunny run a fridge in a hot air balloon? He would need electricity. Tony Pony thought about that and then whinnied. Maybe he had a little hedgehog on a bicycle pedalling very fast in order to make kinetic electricity. But where? demanded Mucky Ducky. Hung by a ribbon from the back of the basket, of course, said Tony Pony. Mucky Ducky did laugh. The Easter Bunny in a hot air balloon with a fridge in it, powered by a hedgehog on a bicycle, attached to the basket with a string? Tony Pony nodded very serious. Well, that is a tale, said Mucky Ducky. Let me tell my friend Conky Donkey. He will get a laugh out of that. Mucky Ducky scampered up to Conky Donkey, who was rubbing his itchy flank against a knot in the fence by the apple tree. Conky Donkey! Conky Donkey! cried Mucky Ducky. Do you know that the Easter Bunny just floated past in a hot air balloon with a fridge in it, powered by a hedgehog on a bicycle, attached to the basket with a string? Conky Donkey just furrowed his brow. What? I said, did you know that the Easter Bunny just floated past in a hot air balloon with a fridge in it, powered by a hedgehog on a bicycle attached to the basket with a string? Who said so, said Conky Donkey. Everyone, said Mucky Ducky. 
and indeed everyone had now caught up to Maki Taki and were in great agreement, nodding their heads and looking very serious and convincing. And what was he doing, said Conky Donkey, in his hot air balloon? Delivering Easter eggs, squawked Henny Penny. One of them hit me on the head. You do know there is probably a simpler explanation, said Conky Donkey. It was a little obvious, but it really had to be said. In cases of the improbable, it's always more likely to be the simpler explanation. But what is the simple explanation? asked the group of friends, bewildered. Conky Donkey just rolled his eyes at them all. That it's raining Easter eggs, sillies, he said. Look! And over in the distance it was true. There was a beautiful rainbow in all the colours of Easter eggs and more besides, glittering in the bright blue sky. It's raining Easter eggs, cried all the animals, and they did a rain dance, or perhaps it was a happy dance, and waited for the chocolates to fall. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids. <laughs>